Our global models agree on another major hurricane forming in the Atlantic. Fall severe season is approaching and we now have a marginal and slight risk for severe thunderstorms tomorrow in the plains. And here comes the coldest air of the year so far since last winter. It's September 2nd, 2025. Let's get into the weather updates. The National Hurricane Center has now given this region out here in the tropical Atlantic a 70% chance for cyclone formation in seven days. And the conditions out ahead of this disturbance are good for strengthening. Our American model sees this disturbance going through TCG and becoming potentially a tropical storm within the next 48 to 72 hours before moving off to the west, strengthening into potentially a major hurricane and then moving off into the North Atlantic. Our European model, however, does have this disturbance remaining a little bit weaker as it pushes off farther to the west, which would likely bring this closer to the states. So as always, I'll keep an eye out on this. The Storm Prediction Center has given us a slight to marginal risk for severe thunderstorms tomorrow across portions of the plains. We haven't been seeing a lot of slight or higher risks lately, but we are approaching fall severe season, so I do expect an uptick. What is good about the severe threat tomorrow is we do not have a tour threat right now, or at least it's below 2%. This is going to be a hail driven threat. You can see we have that 15% hatch risk for hail. And that does mean you could see significant size hail three to four inch in diameter or bigger. And we have that five to 15% chance for damaging wind as well. Our latest NAM model sees these strong to severe thunderstorms beginning to develop and fire off as they move down to the southeast at around 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. tomorrow. So mid to late afternoon and then into the evening hours, we'll see these storms pushing off farther into the southeast towards southeastern Kansas and southern Missouri. And here comes the coldest air of the year since last winter. Across the plains and pushing out east, we will easily see temperature anomalies 10 to 20 in some places even 30 degrees below average over the next four to five days and we may even have a severe threat where you see all of this cooler and warmer air meeting this does typically cause a lot of instability and again as we push into fall that's what causes that fall severe season so i do think as we get into late this week and the weekend we need to watch the east coast for some severe weather i appreciate you guys watching this video if you like this type of content feel free to throw me a follower sub i do make posts like this every day and i stream every day as well to try and answer all of your questions i'll see you in the next video